This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash awesomecast. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com. Time to get geeky, get awesome. It is the awesome cast. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the Sorgatron Media Studios in Pittsburgh, PA. Ready to uh, have some fun here with you guys. Uh, we got a heck of a crew with us here tonight. Uh, first of all, of course, joining us for the first time for a while from Studio C because he just loves hanging out here and having our sponsor pizza from Slice on Broadway. It is John Chichilla. How you doing? Pretty good. How are you doing? Doing all right. Bring that uh, uh, handsome feed to us as we were discussing before the show. <laughs> Even with the side lighting, I'm looking good. Absolutely. Uh, also <laughs> in studio with us, we still got a bit of crew, of course. Katie Dudders, Dudas. Wait, what are you on this show? I, no I don't idea. remember anymore. It doesn't matter. We uh, just recorded a show for our uh, uh, network part, uh, network show, uh, Indie Mayhem Show, where you tell pro wrestlers. How to not suck at social media. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm just going to start a channel, like a whole touring series where I tell different professions not how, how yes. to not Yes. Listen, it. you're doing it wrong. Let me help you. Yes. And also, back in the studio with us with some interesting stories, if the messages I got earlier are in the document. Uh, John Carmen back with us. Yeah, I almost forgot about the pizza, too, until you mentioned that. <laughs> well, that's okay. You can grab it when we get to the sponsor I'm break. super excited. Yes. Yes, bonus. Uh, good to have you back with us. Good to be back. Uh, so this is the Awesome Cast. As I said, you can check us out at awesomecast.com.net. That works again. I fixed some things this week that I didn't know were broken. Thank you, Hover. Uh, hey, make sure your stuff works when you transfer it away from GoDaddy, guys. It gets broken sometimes. Uh, but anyways, uh, check out everything at awesomecast.com. You can check out past episodes, some old awesome chat interviews with some great companies, some that might not be around anymore. I was trying to look for No Wait. They got bought and I couldn't find an app when I wanted to. Are they gone? No, Yelp bought them. Yelp bought them. So it's... But I couldn't find a user side of things that wasn't in Spanish. Oh. <laughs> so that was weird. Yeah. Um, because we were like, we we're in the South Side looking for a place to eat with some people that were in town. But, anyways, um, but hey, they're there back before they got bought when they were a scrappy company hanging out in my basement. Uh, so <laughs> I know, right? But, anyways, um, check us out. Check, check out all those past things at awesomepass.com. Email us awesomepass at sorgatronmedia.com where you can communicate with producer Missy. I'll talk if you're interested in advertising on this show or would like to be part of our studio audience and watch all this magic happen live and, and me swearing off show when things don't work. Uh, awesomecast on the Twitter, awesomecast on Facebook. Subscribe and rate us on your favorite podcast app and watch the video versions on Facebook and YouTube. And also, you can ask your Google Home to play uh, the awesomecast on a Google Music podcast, or ask your Amazon Echo, uh, the A Lady, to play Awesome Cast on TuneIn. Yeah. And what I wanted to ask you about that. Years, yes, I, maybe this has changed. I haven't tried it recently. I did this years ago. Uh, I just asked Amazon to play Awesome Cast. I didn't say on anything. Really? I just started to play it. Yeah, that's like two years ago. Maybe, maybe it's changed. Maybe it was different before. Have, have you tried it just now? Just oh, asking. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Let's see. Play Awesome Cast. See, she doesn't know it now. She's lost it. She's starting to like. She's starting to lose skills in her old age. She just played the the latest episode for me. It was great. So maybe it might be if you have a certain app activated or something like that. It was that. at my parents' house. And oh. I assure you, they do not have apps activated <laughs> or tune in or anything <laughs> like that. Nothing. I I think there's some background <laughs> settings you can do, but uh, yeah, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. Or it. It may be a skill you have that's overriding the play, Mike. So it'd be interesting if you could find another person that, that oh, like a is not yeah. skill heavy. Just a fresh. Because so that's the problem. That's the problem I was running into. I was talking about last week where I added two things that can control TVs, mm -hmm. and now my hey, turn on the TV 
like it boogered it all up. I had to, I had to make custom commands for a bunch of stuff. We're getting in a whole new world here. Boogered it all up. Boogered it all up. <clears throat> it's a technical term. <laughs> Uh, also, we are streaming over on RiversEdgePGH.com, which you can also ask Amazon to play on TuneIn, um, or on the 405Media.com. Uh, Rivers Edge carries us every Saturday morning at uh, 9 a.m., uh, 405 every weekday morning at 9 a.m. Pacific time. Uh, and you can also support us on our Patreon. Hey, we uh, uh, kind of re- rebooted the, the Patreon last week a little bit. Uh, the golds are going out. The after darks are going out. We caught you guys up with that. So uh, apologies for uh, some of the uh, connection issues that were happening with that. But uh, thank you to our Coffee Club $5 members that are getting that content. Matt Weller, John Diggy DeGore, and John Carmen. You've been getting those messages now. I have been too busy to watch anything this week. <laughs> just like just like me with all my programs and and not getting that second watch of Endgame in. I haven't seen anything. <laughs> Well, he'll let us know. He'll let us know how that goes. Uh, also, at our fan of the show, Dollar Level, Michael Fedor, thank you, everybody, that's supporting the show, helping to keep the lights on here on the awesome cast. You don't know it's because the sun's usually bright and shiny at the beginning of the show uh, and right in our faces. Uh, go uh, support the show at patreon.com slash awesome cast. If there's anything in particular you want to see, please let us know. So let's get into our awesome things of the week. And obviously, I think everybody's talking about this. Our wrestling show last night broke down into an a, a Avengers spoiler um, discussion <laughs> for no re- no wrestling-connected reason. But uh, Chilla, in honor of Endgame, you have something here. Oh, he's a... Oh, wait, oh, I, I got him at Sorry, the Sorry, I was, it's I okay. was distracted. <laughs> it's um, okay. Are you good to go with your awesome I'm thing? good to go. I, I should have looked I got, over. I got ipad apps um being approved so uh, i can't remember if i covered this on the show or not but there is actually whoa iron man drone it's an iron man Um, drone it's amazing he has the box so of course you have it yes there's a little arc arc reactor inside um it's powered by (laughs) it's powered by um dji um they call it the trello iron man edition drone um it actually has a trello marvel backed um uh, application for your phone that's how you control it um i don't know if you can see that okay i got you there and it is you you actually have uh friday talking to you um it's not jarvis so but uh yeah you have friday iron man's ai assistant so i thought that It's it's pretty darn cool. I actually haven't gotten to fire it up. It just came in the mail today. Nice. Um, I got I got an extra battery and some fun stuff. So Let's looking see. forward to playing with that. And only retailing at one hundred twenty nine dollars too. It's only a seven twenty p camera, mm-hmm. but it does have a it does have a camera. Um, I thought it was pretty cool because I have not used one before. To mm-hmm. be honest with you. Um, but they actually have training missions that kind of teach you how to use it. And then they, it actually has flight modes. One of them is called throw and go where you can toss the aircraft and it'll hover in place. Nice. Um, which I thought was pretty neat. That's awesome. That's, so the, the, I love that there's high end merch to go. I mean, of course with Iron Man as a theme here, there's going to be high end merch like that. Right. Mm-hmm. So that's awesome. All right. Uh, well, let's stay let's stay robotic with this um, because you can't cuddle with a uh, drone, Dutters. <laughs> I'm sure you could. Well, I, I mean, you could. I mean, <laughs> just be careful with I'm that. Sure. <laughs> Don't turn it on by accident. <laughs> what, what is your What is your awesome? Uh, it's Tombot. It's a realistic robot companion animal, and the it's it's great. It's, it's a dog. They they have been a lot of uh, television or move. Ah, I almost remember what I'm talking about. News uh, channels late, lately, lately talking about it. Uh, very good oh, no. for folks with like Alzheimer's or older people who can't keep a pet, mm-hmm. but benefit from having a pet because it, it, it's been, there's been numerous studies that show that whenever, you know, just petting an animal calms you, lowers your heart rate, uh, blood pressure, all those wonderful things that our pets do for us. But these are for people that ne- can't necessarily take care of a pet, but really want a pet. Um, Maybe they're, you know, especially with somebody with Alzheimer's who maybe was used to having a dog or something mm-hmm. around. This could be a great replacement. It's reactive no matter where you pet it. 
So it'll react to your pets like it's being like it feels like it's being pet. The actual dog itself was um, and the fur and things was designed by Jim Henson's Creature Shop. So, you oh, know, nice. it's good. And these they're not on sale yet. It was a, a Kickstarter, but they're going to be coming out. And I think they're only a few hundred dollars, like I think three hundred dollars. And I think we talked about I'm looking at the chart that they're talking mm-hmm. about, like kind of a comparison chart with other other versions. Like there's a duck and there's another dog. There's a I think we did talk about the seals before mm-hmm. the, the Poro mm-hmm. Poro um so that you know it is you know uh, they're talking about the affordability versus the 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 other features the realism of it um the the motions are really good and also look i mean think about the the audience you know the details you know well um, great do not have to be perfect Mm -hmm. so this all started because it's tom bot um the the creator his name is tom uh his mother had alzheimer's and um wasn't be able to take care of her dog anymore but they were able to give him give her a replacement puppy to take care of. Oh, that'd be cool. Mm-hmm. What is, like, unfortunately, I mean, we're kind of like here on the show. We're probably a little bit skewed by. I, I just imagine the Black Mirror episode of this. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh no! I'm like, oh, I know where this could go wrong. <laughs> um, but no, that's a really cool thing. Uh, so Tombot, you can check it out at tombot.com. Cool. Uh, John Carmen, what is your awesome thing? Well, uh, I mentioned that I haven't seen anything this week. Mm-hmm. Uh, have you guys heard about Game of Thrones? I understand there's this thing called Game of Thrones. Game yeah. of Thrones? And there's a big, it, it, it's a show, and then there's a movie, End Game of Thrones, and everyone's oh, talking about it on Twitter. Gotcha. And I, so my awesome thing of the week is that everyone's so busy talking about End Game and Game of Thrones that nobody has spoiled Cobra Kai Season 2. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. So that's awesome. And I thought it might be worth talking about because it's the first YouTube premium show that has gotten a lot of attention Mm -hmm. and that uh, has caused me to sign up. Which is sad because I think YouTube has recently announced that they are cutting all their original content. All? I, I... I heard most all. I, I don't. I don't have a clarification. Oh my god, that's like Daniel. I, th- I thought Cobra Kai stuff. was even canceled. Yeah, I, I thought it was after just, season two. Yeah, I thought it was just we are done with making original stuff, and there's this been some very decent awesome. stuff. There was a really good. Uh, there was a, a decent, um, you know, kind of Adult Swim worthy uh, cartoon with John Cena as a robot uh, in space. And uh, what was the other one? There was a, a Weird City by um, uh, uh, I think Jordan Peele might have been producing it or, or directing it or something. Yeah. That was okay. very yeah. interesting. I have a lot of, like, Rosario Dawson was on it. Um, like, a lot of name people were a part of that. It's one of those kind of Twilight Zone anthology series, but in the future, in a future city um, that we were watching for a bit. So that's a shame. It, it feels like, it kind of goes with Google. They kind of seem to, seem to pull the rug out way before things have had a chance to, you know, build well, I mean, there's no explanation for this one. Like Netflix, you know, Disney bought everything, and I I don't know why they would be getting rid of all of their shows. Um, one thing I really thought was interesting about Cobra Kai in general was, do you remember that video from 2015? I put a link in here um, about Daniel being the real bully in Karate Kid. Yep, mm-hmm. and I remember that was played up on uh, How I Met Your Mother yes. as well. <laughs> right, right, and that, and I, course, and I and I have seen season one of the show. And so it's very, I mean, they don't, I haven't seen anything that admits to it being based on this video, on the theory in this video, but it's, that's basically Johnny's viewpoint in the Mm -hmm. show Mm -hmm. is this video. And this is a YouTube video. And then YouTube comes out with the show. I want to know the connection. I I love because they do go into like, he kind of tells the story of Karate Kid at one point to one of his pupils in the first season. And it's this video. It's from his perspective. Right. And of course, in something like this, especially you're a kid in high school, you don't know you're the bad guy, right? Right. It's all perspectives. It know? was. It reminded me of when I think it was Liz Lemon on Thirty Rock goes to her high school reunion, thinking that she was bullied, and finds out that she was the bully in high school. Right. Is that the right character? I think. That I think was that Liz was it. Yeah. 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 So I, I, it's it's definitely worth. I don't know what's happening with the YouTube. There's a lot of great content on there now. I'm sure not, they're not going to pull it. There just might not be new stuff. And it felt like, you know, like Netflix, I felt like there was a, a trailer coming out all the time on mm-hmm. a new show I had not heard of. So, And it usually takes me a while to see that. I'm surprised it took me a while to watch to watch Cobra Kai because mm-hmm. I found out 
that I was the target demographic for this show. <laughs> <laughs> and 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 it's cool because they don't shy away from like there are flashbacks that straight up use the footage from Karate Kid. New footage though. There's they new found, footage. They found, but it you've seen it. It's just from different angles. They found a oh. lot of new footage. Oh. So That's you cool. you've actually seen the kick from several different angles. New it's like so just like the cutting room floor off, stuff, off they, the cutting floor. Yeah, yeah. They, they just brought that yeah, back. They up. went back, found the original footage, and used it, and and it was seamless, so you didn't notice. Yeah, yeah. Unless you like went back and watched the movie. Unless you're, like, you're you had to be a really big fan to know. Hey, I've never seen the kick from that angle. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. When they do stuff like this, actually, I don't know too many things that have done something to this angle. It was a real labor of love. The people, yeah. the, it's three guys who are producing this show, and they are all big fans. Mm-hmm. Thankfully, let's see. Thankfully, uh, nobody from the original Karate Kid got huge after. But like the Karate Kid was probably the peak of most every, of their careers. most everybody yeah. that was involved with it, right? Yeah. So I mean, which well, is, not Elizabeth Shue, but yeah, right. But she's not on the show. She's not on the show. Well, don't if she is, don't tell me. Oh, <laughs> I'm waiting. You're waiting. She I'm was really... she was gonna come back for season three. Oh man. Yeah. That this was is... gonna be the big one. This is less awesome now. <laughs> I'm sorry, bad news with your <laughs> awesome thing. Um I'm gonna go with my awesome thing. I think I have a list of below, so sorry, producer Missy. Um so Google there is by the way, there is very obvious synergy going on between Google and Avengers Endgame right now. Um this is spoiler free, I believe. Um, but if you, well, even when we were sitting down to watch, okay, here's a spoiler. We were sitting down to watch Avengers and there was the commercial for the pixel three that includes the AR that has the, the captain America Avengers people that you can put, uh, uh, Katie, I think your phone, cause you're on Verizon. Did you get the stormtrooper one? I think, or maybe that was a pixel thing I'm thinking about. I didn't. That, that was a pixel only thing. That was a pixel thing. only thing. Kraus, Kraus has it. That's right. Kraus was showing us. You know, the thing where, like, hey, buy this phone on Verizon. Here's a Star Wars character. Yeah. Like, they're doing that with Avengers, which makes sense because they're both Disney and it's the pixel, right? But Google was doing more than that. And, of course, also, maybe we'll talk about it a little bit later, Fortnite has, I have, I just updated the thing last thing. They haven't got a chance to play Fortnite to see the Avengers stuff because the Thanos thing a year ago was amazing. Um, And now you can have, like, Avengers weapons, I guess. But uh, over on Fortnite. And their skins. And their skins as well. Oh, man. (laughs) I I got the Black Widow skin and the... Oh, who did they release yesterday? Star-Lord. Really? No, they released Star-Lord skin. Sweet. (laughs) But there's going to be three... There's going to be three limited edition skins, and they've released two of them. So who knows who the last one's going to be? This isn't a scare house thing. I know. I'm like, it's you're not, wearing skin. It's not real skin. <laughs> I'm very disappointed. Context. It's not real skin. It's um, more like a cosplay. Um, but anyways, so the, the like one of the fun things I always loved when when I don't feel like they do this as much anymore, or they play with Google itself. But if you go to Google, and I'll pull it up here if you guys on video, this will work on the apps. I haven't tried it on the iPad, but I tried it on the iPhone version, but this will also work on Google.com. If you type in Thanos and hit enter, you get the stuff that you expect. You know, there's your videos, some news, um, talking about all the insane amount of money that they, they've uh, made. But also... I find that there's too many results. There's too many results. Well, I got news for you, John Carmen. If you look, you see Thanos fictional supervillain like one of those kind of uh uh you know automated cars they do at the top but you notice there's an infinity gauntlet so let's go ahead and, and click on the infinity gauntlet and there's a snap and the oh, no. results are starting to go away oh that's much better yeah there you go just like when thanos saved the world that's right that's right uh we 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 have your google results just to save the rest of us it still goes. There's, there's actually sound effects to this as well. Mm-hmm. If you uh, have your phone, I didn't. On. I never had sound on. No, no. I keep. Well, I, I never do on the phone, right? Uh, then I went and did it on the browser, and I was like, "Oh, there's noise to this. This That's is great." great. So uh, Google get very Marvel crazy. It feels weird sometimes because I'm like, "Well, Google is kind of." We worry. We, we worry about uh, uh, Facebook being this, but I feel like Google is the internet, so it feels strange when it has branding, right? Mm-hmm. Like to a lot of us, mm-hmm. so. But there's that. So I wonder if this will move Thanos up the most Googled things for 2019. 
uh, I may, or will we be? Will we have a uh, a uh, monopoly situation where, like, listen, um, you know, not everybody has to have access to the Infinity Gauntlet. You can't just let Googlers do it. You know, where's my ga- my Bing in? What was somebody? Somebody, I, producer Missy, was it you that said that? It, it, you know, if you wanted to, if you wanted to have the reaction of the Infinity Gauntlet on Google, you would just use Bing. The, the the cool thing with, it, with and they would probably have to do this like only in a Chrome browser or something, but it would be cool if you Googled Thanos and you had a Bing tab open. Mm-hmm. The Bing tab would <laughs> dissolve. It would, like the tabs at the top of your screen dissolved. It went away. <laughs> it's like I'm doing this in the middle of the work day with like ten tabs open and, and like have them like my spreadsheets and everything. I'm just like ah, <laughs> watch somebody freak out. Oh, that'd be great. Wasn't there something that happened when, it, when you snapped again, though? Yeah, well, they came back. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. They, come, they back. come back. It, right. uh, yeah, it turns back time. It, it doesn't snap again. It turns back time, and everything reappears. There you go. It's five. Hey, let's go back. I got something for you. Let's. Mm. Uh, so we talked about Thanos being most searched. Let's talk about what happened on Pornhub. Uh, with a... <laughs> Are we still an awesome Worth thing? Wow. Hold Someone does not wait. I was listen. so excited. Look at this. It's a whole thing of characters. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. That is a great tease because I want to talk to you about uh, a friend of ours on the network here. We're, of course, a bunch of geeks and nerds here that are talking tech week to week uh, on this show. But what could be nerdier and geekier than geekier than tech how about a dungeons and dragons or a dungeons and dragons podcast our friends at bardic mystery uh tour uh regale the crowd with tales of a rock band of bards on tour they kick in doors solve mysteries and as an added bonus they write original songs so it's kind of like it's kind of like if you took scooby-doo mixed it with uh josie and the pussycats and then like made it uh medieval uh, so go check it out at bardicmysterytour.com. I hope that's all accurate representation. There's no dog anymore, but there is like a kind of a golem thing, I think. Uh, but anyways, go check it out. Some great stuff. Bardicmysterytour.com. I'm going to be doing some traveling. I'm going to have that queued up and catching up on their stories here uh, in the next month here. Go check them out. Bardicmysterytour.com, a part of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. So, Katie, what did you find on Pornhub? Yay. So Pornhub, <laughs> um, if you didn't know, you can... Oh, side note, I, I was listening to another podcast and somebody else also said the exact same thing. It was like, dude, the the details in Pornhub are amazing. Go to Pornhub Insights. I'm gonna, I mean, that's a hot tip. The Don't... details in Pornhub are amazing. <laughs> yes. That can mean... So what did they mean? <laughs> so many things but yeah i would uh, go pornhub insights if you're gonna do this don't I, go through pornhub.com am i safe pornhub hub insights don't go to pornhub.com remember we have a wide open window here i know don't hey we, everybody if we screw this up it's gonna be bad so after um the movie was released they saw a 5188 percent sp- like ah, spike well, the, wait, Pornhub Insights is not right either. Oh, oh no, I just went to porninsights.com. Oh, Don't God. do that either. Pornhub.com slash insights. Okay, we'll try this again. I hope that works. I hope nobody walked by. Hey, friends. Uh, but you, the po- you could do pornhubinsights.com as look, well. Mm-hmm. I don't think you're there. Look how surprised that kid looks. <laughs> well, it's the first time you've seen those. <laughs> yeah, educating. Uh, did you find it? Yes. Okay. I think I can do this. Okay. All right, I think we're good. So they did like pre April 15th and then post, it was like a 5,188% increase on April 28th in searches for Avengers porn on Pornhub. Uh, the character popularity was one we were both making faces about over here. The number one was Captain Marvel, which makes sense. Uh, Black Widow, Spider-Man, Hulk. At the bottom is Black Panther. We oh, no. Surprised. We were surprised. Okay. But yeah. So... Yeah, Captain America was only a little bit in the middle, even with uh, his behind and stuff. Really? America's ass doesn't have more videos out there? Yep. America's ass. <laughs> I'm sorry, quasi-spoiler alert. But I think I think I don't think you can get away from it on Twitter anymore. No, not at this point. So no. I think I think I think America's ass is out of the bag. But yeah, so that's yeah. So that's exciting to do if you're very interested in Pornhub. They do like it's a lot of great data. We enjoy it. Or if you never thought, oh, hey, there's Captain Marvel videos. Yeah, there you go. I didn't even think, wait, there's at least two Black Panther ones out there. Mm-hmm. What? Uh, and there was a lot of, um, wasn't there a meme a couple weeks ago where I think I downloaded the wrong Star Wars? Yeah. 
<laughs> Somebody's going to download the wrong Avengers. Yep. Mm-hmm. Anyways. Uh, Whoa, so that's a that different kind a, of end game. That is... <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Um, I don't, I don't know what to do with the rest of this now. Hey guys, Amazon, Brandon is out there in the KC. Uh, he is, uh, he's excited about Amazon bringing us one day delivery. I think I accidentally stumbled on this last week, uh, because something did show up the next day and I'm just like, what one day? That's weird. Um, and then they lost my package yesterday. (laughs) So thanks Amazon. (laughs) Uh, but yeah, no, Amazon is uh, said to be, and this is this is in a lot of outlets. He's uh, he's uh, linking the uh, Kansas City Star in this case. Uh, but it looks like they are going. They're they are basically retrofitting their entire system to bring one day delivery generally to the Prime members. Um, I think most of us here have Prime and live on Prime. I was just looking up Q tips and seeing if I could just avoid a trip to Walmart myself uh, this morning uh, to scary amounts. Uh, what do you guys think of this? Um, is this, I mean, this kind of destroys the, oh, hey, I'll just go to the store even more at this point. Uh, my boyfriend works at Target, so. I, oh, no. Yeah, so, <laughs> easy for me. Oh, that's nice. I can just I get up. one he's, of those. He's like, you, you get like, you get like four hour delivery. I get Q-tips whenever I want. <laughs> he he's like your personal uh uh G Prime account. Well, I never ask him. To, I just, when I go pick him up, I'll pick up the Q-tips. I never. I, although for fun, I will. He, order oh, so stuff. he's so he's like your Amazon locker. He's just my reason that I'm at Target all the time. Oh, but there you go. um, I will order stuff to the store, just just because it's funny. Because then I go pick it up from him. <laughs> <laughs> And, and thanks for your service. I guess I could I could put him as a you can put someone as an alternate on yes. the account, and then I could just tell him, hey, take this home. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, that'd be really better than Prime. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? Is this does this change things for you? I mean, it, it doesn't change much, but it just kind of like, oh, cool. One less day I have to wait for that thing, or or. Uh, one last day I have to like, you know, one more day of window where I'm like, I got to go to California. I have to have this doohickey to make things work. Uh, oh, man, I'm screwed. Wait, I can get it tomorrow before I leave instead of if it was two day. Chilla? Yeah, it, I got this last week and it, it actually made a difference in what I was going to do because I needed an HDMI cable. And I'm like, oh, I wonder what the price difference would be. But then when Amazon said... Oh, we can have it there for you in a day. I was like, "Yeah, I'm not even gonna price compare to like Best Buy." It's or, worth or it at where. that point. Yeah, it, it, it's. It, well, I guess what I guess the point is is it's not worth driving to the store, mm-hmm. or even even if it were to be priced I mean, the same price in the store, which it's probably hard to actually actually get them to price match. I don't know. It's it's not worth the time. Just yeah. order it and move on and wait for it tomorrow. Yeah, well, we'll see what that, what that does with everything. Um, what will this do to service, though? Because Amazon delivery is already... You've got people just tossing stuff onto your porch and taking a photo with their phone as they're running away. <laughs> you know? Okay, I haven't had that. Right? How much faster There's do they lot, need to be I've now? I've seen a lot of blurry ones where you could tell they were definitely running. Like they didn't bother yeah. and just like did it and, and ran off. Yeah, because they're on our, like a quota and stuff too. There, it, it's like I think it's it's not by time, it's by package. Right? I'm nodding like people can so, hear that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just nod louder, <laughs> Carmen. Uh, I don't know. Um, here's another one that was uh, submitted in the group here. This one's by Riz. Uh, this is Tomaton, a wearable robot that feeds you tomatoes as you run. This might be something for Podner out there, and I, we know uh, Riz. Uh, he has his, um, and we'll, we'll put a link in the chat room if he's out there or, or if producer Missy can. Uh, he is uh, running for the Pittsburgh Marathon. He is raising money. Um, I need to make sure I get my donation in still. And uh, it's for a good cause. Uh, so please uh, support the Riz and Riz Plays Games with that. Uh, let's see. We got a little bit of a video here on uh, what Potter is going to be picking up here during the show. Yeah, it is a scary little robot. Please don't run an ad here. This is a torture device, This right? is a torture device, sure. This is, who does this to themselves? So I can't imagine. So it looks like you're, you have a pumpkin head character on your shoulders. It gets a tomato out of the back of it, 
brings it over with two arms and brings it to your mouth so you can eat the tomato I love that you said while you're head. running. It does look like it. it. Does. I, okay, it's a tomato, it's I know, but the reference. outline the outline you're gonna say, what what's with this pumpkin head? No, thing? it's a great reference. I mean, how many vegetable based uh characters are there? <laughs> Only pumpkin head, right? Only, only uh, uh, the 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 Sleepy Hollow. You know, I mean, that's uh, I love this this thing of him showing it off on a treadmill as well. Uh, man, um, what what would you think, uh, uh, Katie? You you run a little bit, <laughs> uh, <laughs> more than I do. You know, I only run if there's metals involved. Okay, what, <laughs> what if you're on the treadmill at the gym and you saw this device? On somebody's shoulders, feeding it tomatoes. I'm already impressed by people that can run at the gym without holding on to the sides. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't take much. Also, American. what would you put? Have it feed you instead of tomatoes? Ooh. Because I imagine we can ad- adapt this thing. Eggs. Eggs. <laughs> and little packets of mayonnaise. And mayonnaise. Man egg. Man egg. Chocolate eggs. Just Ooh, chocolate oh. eggs. Yeah. If you really want to just even out when you're working out, be like, listen, you know, let's see. Uh, you just ate a Cadbury egg. You're going to have to run for another 15 minutes. Oh, my goodness. I have so much Easter. What would be interesting home. is if you were rewarded with the oh. Cadbury egg. So when <laughs> you cleared the distance, you're like, okay, you've, you, you've burned off 100 calories. Here's a Cadbury <laughs> egg. Let's put that it's back on. Equivalent 100 <laughs> calories. You just, worse you than, just netted nothing. Worse than the Cold Stone Creamery in the same plaza as your LA Fitness. Uh, so, but, uh, so this is, let's see, we used about 100 tomatoes to complete this machine. What? Wait a minute. What she hold. Uh, what's that? Oh, no. Are you looking at more um, Good stuff? Tomato related. I'm, no, I'm searching mm. Pornhub for Hawkeye, trying to get his numbers up. Okay. Oh, good. He needs there that. You go. Help him out. Yeah. Is there a Ronin reference in there? Let me do that. Okay. Spoiler alert. Uh, what the hell is in the trailer? Yeah, it is. Well, they didn't refer to it. Did they? I think they did. I feel like they did. I don't know. Or that was my conversation with Mad Mike on the uh, Monday Mayhem wrap-up. Not a lot of Ronin. Not also, a lot of Ronin? Also, I it think it also means be... different things. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that could get weird. Uh, hey, you know what else can get weird? John Carmen when he doesn't get his slice on Broadway. Okay, maybe not that weird. This is the <laughs> worst lead-in we've had. To... I'm sorry, Slice. Uh, but anyway, Slice on Broadway <laughs> supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza. You can go get it now. I know you forgot when you came in, John. I'll get I'll... Okay. I'm not going to get weird. You're not going to get weird? <laughs> uh beachview carnegie east end pnc park home of the pittsburgh pirates uh supporting uh supporting pittsburgh podcasting and supporting the awesome cast for a good long time i know we were getting messages earlier today by one of our podcast friends from the pitchworks podcast who were in the neighborhood and they were like well i gotta go to slice i'm at slice i'm terrorizing a slice um but <laughs> so thank you everybody i know we get a lot of pictures from our friends here at awesome cast and over on mayhem show of people as they're out and about uh, they do uh, make a point to slice in, uh, slice into our friends at Slice on Broadway. Nope, let's not use that one. Uh, <laughs> take two uh, <laughs> to check out our friends at Slice on Broadway whenever they are in the area for them. And there's so many options here around town. Go check them out, sliceonbroadway.com, and let them know the awesome cast sent you in a nice, polite way. Don't yell at them. Please don't yell at them. <laughs> Another conversation about that, too. Uh, uh, but anyways. What are you telling people to do this? Poor people at Slice. I just, just, just be nice and be like, hi. You know, the awesome cast is great. They sent me. Don't. It's just. It's cool. What are people doing? <laughs> I just, just want to have everybody to have a positive experience. Just, I know people get enthusiastic. Just, I mean, I do, too. When, 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 you know, involves pizza. Apparently, uh, I get weird if I don't get pizza. <laughs> we should have the robot feed us pizza. Yeah. <laughs> Done. P- pizza Tron. Maybe this <laughs> Totinos. Oh. <laughs> t- pizza roll. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, you know, I bet those pepperoni like roll things from Slice will fit in that nicely, mm-hmm. too. Mm-hmm. Bring it around. Hey, I'm excited because Mario Kart Tour beta is coming. Uh, uh, they're going to have a two-week beta for it uh, starting May 22nd. Also excited because I have a couple of Android devices. Thank you, Chilla, because I don't know if my Nexus 7 would have been compatible. Uh, so so I, I charged up and booted up my Samsung Galaxy S6 and uh, signed up for this. 
It is not doing an iPhone beta for obvious iPhone reasons, if you know how iPhones work and hate betas. Um, at least like these wide betas, it's, it's going to be harder to do, uh, I, I think, for this. I, but. So not, not to jump in there, but I mean, I'm on one, two, three, four. What, a gaming beta? I'm on four, I'm on four mainstream betas. Okay. And, and they're from big name companies, mm-hmm. like the people that make operating systems. Um, you know who you are. <laughs> um, and, and it's not with te- because test flight is available. Mm-hmm. It's super easy. Um, so I'm su- here's you want my, my my take on it. Why they're not doing the iOS beta is because if you notice the days that the Android beta runs mm-hmm. is May 22nd to June 4th. <gasps> oh, WWDC. what's June 5th? WWDC. <laughs> Yes. So maybe I wouldn't be surprised if that's like their big one of their big headlines. Oh, because they they did reveal Super Mario Run, uh, even though it did come to Android at a Apple event, maybe also WWDC, if not yeah. the later iPhone one. Uh, so they could be showing off. We could get we could get Miyamoto out there again, showing us uh, Mario Kart in uh, Doctor Mario World. By the way, when Doctor Mario World goes down on my uh, iPhone. Um, I'm, you're not going to see me for a little bit probably, uh, because holy crap. Right. Uh, so yeah, that could be, wow. That could be fun. And don't forget iOS got it a lot earlier than Android for Mario mm-hmm. run. They had, they had, uh, like a three month or six month lead. I can't remember. We could also consider, uh, we could also consider capacity and everything like that too. Right. So, mm-hmm. uh, jeez. Uh, sorry, I'm updating uh, some stuff in here. Um, hey, Katie. Uh, so Facebook uh, had F8. Yes. I saw all this news. I didn't realize it was coming from F8 today uh, as I was mm-hmm. running around. So mm-hmm. so what's new on the Facebook world that we should be uh, keeping an eye out for? Uh, so the news feed as we know it is. No way. Yeah. That's like been the core of their business for like the last 10 years. I know. And then we're going to change things. What? Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, so now the focus is on groups and events. Yes. So are you already thinking about how that changes your strategy and your business <laughs> things? I, Just I, in time for the next election. Yeah. Oh, let's, let's so, hide the thing that was the problem. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't. So, so, yeah, good. So, so now that Google Plus is gone, they're trying to go that route or, yeah, or why? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm. I'm sorry. Go okay, ahead. Okay. No. 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 Good. What we were just talking about before about like didn't Google Plus do this exact same thing in one of its iterations where they're just like, hey guys, events are the front thing and and, and groups and things like that, right? And right. It, and that's what it feels very like. Mm, I don't know about this. Oh, sorry, Katie. Oh, you're fine. Um, but the, they're talking about how it's it's basing it's going around the things that people actually like the groups and events. Mm-hmm. I am very skeptical of this whole thing because I don't see how Facebook is going to make money off of just kind of losing the newsfeed because they make a ton of money. Well, not that I'm sure they don't really, but yeah, you know, um, off of data and how much data can you get for me in my groups and events? So I think they're going to, do you know what I mean? Like, I don't Mm. think they're going to, be getting as much stuff as they used to be getting it depends so the social i feel like that social i mean it's not like they're not getting data mm-hmm. we're in our more like we're talking more focused in a group so mm-hmm. can't you see this is a wrestling group therefore wrestling stuff comes in and mm-hmm. then you see what people are talking about and you get super certain we still get abs while we're in groups that's true so, I mean, they're still getting the data. It's just a different format. So, as advertisers, are we going to be focusing our ads on those groups now? As opposed to specific interests? And more in, I mean, I don't want to say interests, but, gr- but, but like... Don't the groups support the interests? Yeah. So, getting, not necessarily. I think we're getting deep dive social yeah. media on this. For that. We but should I'm really start another could, podcast for I'm, I'm guessing they could pull the demographic from the group and put... Your, your ad that you get by going into a group may not be the same ad I get by that, going. That's in. what I was thinking. It's still served to individuals just mm-hmm. within the group. Yeah. Is, I don't think you get much different ads in the groups, right? As far as sidebar in, in feed, well, there's not a lot of in feed, but that'll probably change. Uh, what, my question is what happens if Instagram becomes the news feed and then Facebook mm. is the group? 
Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, well, you say the Instagram is getting a little bit of change too, right? Yeah, that's a that's they're gonna you're gonna be seeing the likes go away, little hearts. What? Yeah, they're working, they're testing that out now because they're they're trying to make it a better experience for people and make it less hurtful. Or oh. it's still gonna. Okay. The user gets them though, like the yeah. the poster still gets them. It's uh, just everybody else can't see yeah. them, right? So you're still it's still gonna affect like how many people see your things. If, I mean, if a lot of people are liking your things, they're gonna put it out there more obviously, and it affects, affects the algorithm, but. It's not so that, much. They that, want to make it less of a competition. That kills the strategy because it's. Um, well, I guess you'll still have top posts and things like that, mm-hmm. so that will still demonstrate who those top people are. But you know, I know some of the strategies that that some of the business people, social media business people, I listen to say, go find the top person talking about this topic on Instagram, and then go comment on that message them da 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 right, and and you know see what you can do with them. Uh, so, but I guess that doesn't change too much. It's just that, that, that one signal, you'll still see the result of the signal to be be able to make determinations like that. Interesting. All the changes. (sighs) Well, it's, mm -hmm. I, I am about halfway through the 15, uh, uh, what was it? 15 months of hell on the wired article. I need a, if you get your, get your trial to news plus and go listen (laughs) or read that at least. Right, so or or grab a copy or steal it from your doctor's office, whatever. Um, but uh, <laughs> it, it is an interesting, and we talk about that a lot on our Slack and and everything too. Um, so maybe maybe we do need to start up that social media podcast just so we can help people cope with the changes that are inevitable at this point. So, but anyways, um, did you notice that? Like, is it? I don't know if it's on your Facebook app too, but all of a sudden the Facebook logo is now huge in the upper left hand corner when you Whoa. scroll. I just uh, noticed it now. This is like, <laughs> no, no, seriously. Like, I, I swear this wasn't like this like a little bit ago. It was. It, was, it, it started, I think, on Saturday or Sunday or yesterday. Yeah, Saturday or Sunday for me. It was definitely over the weekend, but I thought it was hysterical. I'm like, like I don't know what app I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> Reminder. Yeah, a lot of white space at the top. Still not as bad as some other apps on the iPad, like LinkedIn. Really. When I'm sideways on the iPad, it, we're still just this little column. Same with Twitter. Mm-hmm. It's like, Instagram's still an, an iPhone app on the on the iPad. Yeah, Come that now, kills guys. me too. <laughs> that kills me too. And and I've run out of the five accounts on my Instagram, so I'm logging in with other client accounts on the iPad, and then I have to turn it sideways. It's just come on, guys. <laughs> come on, guys. We're like we can't even do that, and we're making all these other changes. Jeez. Um, I closed my documents, so I'm trying to go to the next thing. We just wanted Instagram in chronological order. That's all we wanted. <laughs> That's, That's all, all we wanted. For. And then you, it, well, Twitter has this problem. It's like, hey, we're going to fix this problem that nobody asked for. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, um, Chilla. Wait, 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 Chilla. What is your, uh, what is uh, going on with the uh, don't, don't buy the first gen? Is this not about the photo? Did, 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 any, did anyone actually buy the first gen? So Samsung is releasing the Galaxy View 2. Wait, what is the Galaxy this was View? The, so the Galaxy View was a device that came out in 2015. Mm-hmm. Cost about 600 bucks. And it was pretty much a, like a 17-inch tablet that okay. was on like a, 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 a tent. Oh. Like it, it, it's a, it was meant to be like a portable TV to move around your house. It's being in this uh, digital trends article that you linked here. It says it's a TV that's too small and a tablet that's too big. <laughs> yes, exactly. Mm. So it, and that's why I wonder why they came out with another one. Like <laughs> I, I, you, I, I saw these floating when when they were released in 2015. They were like front and center in every AT and T store mm-hmm. because they also have you can get them with an AT and T plan, but. I never saw anyone other than the people that worked there on a slow day watching it. Like I, I never saw anyone walk up really? to it. Really? Not like this. <laughs> not like this guy in his camping chair in his yard with it on his uh uh picnic or like, like outside coffee table situation. You better hope he's either under something or or it's an overcast day, or you're going to get a lot of reflection on that screen. <laughs> it is. It looks very overcast, full day going on there actually. So. Jeez, I, I just don't understand the need. Yeah, I, well, I, Samsung seems to iterate a lot, don't they? Yeah, but I, I, again, I would have rather them iterated their 
Android camera than this thing. Mm -hmm. Wow. Uh, so that's the Galaxy View. It's out there. How much is this running for? The View 2. View 2. Don't get the first one, apparently. Um, I think they're about, I mean, to me, it's just a new processor and a new new OS. How much is this thing? The original one was 600 bucks. Oh, it's 740 Jeez. But you can get it on contract for 37 bucks a month. <laughs> Jeez. Um, uh, speaking of Facebook, uh, John, you you had John Carmen, two John, sorry, uh, you had something about some changes to the messenger going on as well. Yeah, well, you, I guess this was another F eight uh, announcement that um, they're going to add video. Co well, there there are a bunch of changes, but I picked out video co watching, where you can choose a video to watch together, and it will show what. I feel like everybody's reintroducing this. On every platform. Yeah. I remember doing a this lot back of on it, the Xbox with Netflix. Yeah. A lot of it is for porn. This is going <laughs> to... What? Co-watching porn? Yeah. Is that wait, is that a thing? Oh, it's definitely a I thing. Mean, I mean, I'm sure it's a thing. It's definitely a thing. Because it's too awkward to be in the same room while you're watching it, so you need to do it <laughs> remotely? or. Well, I don't think these are with people you know. Why would you watch uh... porn? Oh. Oh. With reaction cams of their faces shown below. It doesn't necessarily need to be your face, though, does it? So, yeah, how is this going to be used? <laughs> Very interesting In ways. related news, Facebook dating <laughs> is coming to the U.S. by the end of the year. <laughs> they, oh, how convenient. Uh -huh. uh, well, this is when they're, and they're, they're pitching it as like, aren't they pitching it as like hook up with your with your friend that you never knew should be more than that or something? Well, the new feature, right. Well, we don't even have Facebook dating in America, right. but the new feature that they're launching where they do have Facebook dating is, um, an anonymous crush where if you mark, you can mark up to, I think nine people as a, a crush. And if wait, they, wait, wait. so is this like the, this is my list. You know, yeah. this is like my, my pass, my top eight pass list. Right. And if uh, the other person uh, reciprocates, it will make the secret connection a real connection. Uh, yep. They will. Yeah. You know, you'll they'll let each other know if they marked you as a crush. And just so you can't keep marking different people as a crush and seeing, uh, I think you can swap out one person a day on your list. Oh. This is just on the dating app. So, it's not in Facebook itself. Just in the, the dating app. Correct. <laughs> it's it's so you can swap people out. So it's not laminated, but. You can't you can't game the system. Interesting. Interesting. This just has bad idea written all over it. <laughs> so I don't know what's going on with Facebook now. Trying to find us. They're well. trying everything. They is really, what's happening. Yeah. Wait, wait till wait till that data leaks and it dumps everybody's Oh no. Like it, it's kind of like <laughs> it's like a more integrated Ashley Madison yeah. leak. Wow. Uh -huh. Wow. This is going to be amazing. <laughs> so excited. Well, I mean, haven't they gotten in enough trouble? Yeah. Like, let's get better information that we can lock out, uh, a leak out there. Jeez. Well, it seems like Facebook dating is free, and, and it seems like it's something they're putting out there to try to win people back mm -hmm. after all the trouble they got into, but they're just asking for more. Well, they're just <laughs> looking for any in, you know, yeah. because, I mean, um, you know, certain groups and ages of of kids just are not facebooking their instagram mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. and and it seems like you know you got whatsapp you got instagram and is facebook dating going to be a separate app is it going to be you know integrated in facebook itself you know so is it just going to be like hey here's the dating thing you know or well, it, it is already whatever it is it is but we don't have it here so we don't know what it is but it exists huh yeah i don't oh. know why we don't have it in the u.s strange yeah probably other reasons they're worried about yeah matchmaking yeah just we gotta we gotta work on that um that creepy factor a little bit don't you so all right uh with that all right we're gonna stutters carmen i know you guys have been waiting to talk about this Yay. like all day days and i'm really afraid of uh, i'm able to bring it up i just found this because i was like oh you said something in the last episode about oh expect some porn news so I was like, well, I better find some porn news. I didn't know oh, that half just... the show was already going to be porn news. This okay. is all just for you. <laughs> it's a special day. So what What do we have here? 
what, what, okay, you want me to describe it? Yes. Okay. For um, the audio listeners, I can't even show this because of the ads. We can link to it, but you, if you type it in wrong, it's just going to be a mess. So Yeah, uh, well, even the link has like just other general Pornhub ads, unfortunately. Uh, oh, does, okay. Yeah. Porn, Pornhub B-Sexual. B-E-E-S-E-X-U-A-L. It's videos of bees pollinating flowers. Oh, this one's okay. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah. This this site is actually okay because I went to. There's another one that's just these videos on Pornhub, and that's a problem. Right, right. It, it it's videos of bees pollinating flowers with voiceovers by porn stars. I think the main the main video on the on the homepage is the how to, or the the behind the scenes. Mm-hmm. And then if you click on watch bee sexual videos now, you see the actual bee sexual videos. It looks like I mean it, it it's, it's Pornhub, right? It looks like if you had this on at work, people people would think you're watching porn, but it's it's just nature porn. Mm-hmm. So the it's weird because the video is kind of safe for work, and totally it's, but safe. the yeah. audio is yeah. not. The audio is not. No. Yeah, yeah. Well, there's a human in this one though. <laughs> I think she just. Well, looks- what would be interesting is if you started using some of the just video clips for things and see if people react like, "Hey, I know what that. I've seen that video somewhere. Where'd you get that?" I mean, they all kind of look the same. <laughs> and you, some of the text is not safe for work, but. <laughs> Also, I think internally, uh, to our fans and our listeners, we have that first video coming up was just a trip. Yes. Professor Bug- Buzzcock <laughs> teaches naughty. I got to click on it to read the whole thing. What does he teach? He teaches naughty something. <laughs> teaches naughty lesson. They're doing. They're doing. They're doing the voiceover uh, behind the scenes in the video as well. Uh, so this is I, wow. I, I can't remember if you <laughs> if you mentioned this is actually a, an awareness campaign to help save the bees. Yeah. No, I I didn't mention that. I don't even know how it's saving the bees. I didn't. It's an awareness thing. That. I mean, it's, it's a every save. View. There's a, there's a donate every view donates yeah. something. Yeah. So uh, yeah, how can you save the bees? Watch in bed. Help bees get wet. Oh, geez uh yeah yeah wow it's, yeah some of these some of these are i can't save some of these on the show uh but <laughs> oh did yeah you, once did you go to the main care site once I mean, you they've click done, on they've done a lot of they're trying to do a lot of i mean from closed captioning to the visually impaired to a twenty five thousand dollars scholarship yeah they're doing a little bit yeah like sorg said there's a lot of not safe for work ads on mm-hmm. the side and and if you click on it it just takes you to an actual porn hub video page where there's all kinds yeah. of others so, so yeah, no, 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 no. i'm saying what? if you if you go to the top of the b uh, oh if you go to pornhub page. pornhub.com slash cares that's where the b sexual yeah. thing is yeah the closed captioning on the website uh optimizing the for the visually impaired uh, there's a, a $25,000 scholarship. Um, there's a lot of uh, fun stuff. Safe sex. Safe sex after 65. Guys. That's good. If you go to the next page, make love, save the pandas. Mm-hmm. Save the clock tower. <laughs> what other care stuff do they have on their page? A lot women in tech. There's yeah. a $25,000 scholarship for women in tech. Mm-hmm. Domestic violence. Um, uh, uh, saves the boobs campaign. Uh, so there's a, there's a lot going on here, I, but we yeah, also remember like like Kitty I talked about before on the butterfly ef- with the butterfly effect podcast. Like again, this is a tech company, mm-hmm. so all the tech company things like uh, when uh, the article we both shared of the their social media person this last week just reminds us of like I'm not looking at porn all day. I'm just doing brand social media for a website that happens to be porn, mm-hmm. right? Like there are plenty of there are probably I bet like probably seventy five percent of the people that work for Pornhub that maybe aren't in the content making parts of things don't need to see a boob any day. Don't need to, they're, but they're going to. Uh, I'm not. Yeah, I'm just saying. It's, I'm just saying you're you, not just inundated with porn all the time in this environment as a company. Mm, as like they're but, at, like their software engineers don't have to look at porn all day necessarily. don't have to but no I'm... but i'm just saying you know <laughs> listen i'm saying john i'm saying nobody <laughs> is forcing you to watch porn i feel like i am right now <laughs> look at porn hubs movember team they have a movember team can you imagine if they had that in the 70s <laughs> a porn movember team glorious there you go oh boy guys 
I want to give a shout out to our friend on the West Coast, Alex Cars, over at alexcars.media, uh, uh, K-A-H-R-S, alexcars.media. He's putting together a puzzle of design and media from branding to print to digital projects. Alex can do logos, merchandise, website, photo, and video projects. Please go check him out at alexcars.media dot media i'm gonna be going hanging out with alex here in a couple weeks go check out his stuff we brought back some of his designs we have a lot of um we have a lot of uh swag uh here in the studio if you're visiting us in the next few weeks from occupy pro wrestling some cool designs that he's had that's actually made it on television with lucha underground and you can see a lot of that stuff he's done t-shirts uh one of the first iterations of our indie wrestling.us website and so much more great partner to the site uh, our West Coast connection out there that helps us with uh, a little bit of work. We might be working with a project on with them right now as well. Go check them out, alexcars.media. Good friend of us here on the awesome cast. Um, I thought I was doing a uh, Thanos uh, uh, fade off there. Sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> hit the wrong button. Guys, uh, it has been a show. Uh, <laughs> a lot of stuff coming up here please check out uh of course pittsburgh current um i don't think we'll be live uh thursday morning at 10 but there will be this is where we'll be premiering this week's episode um i don't think i have an official word on the guest just yet but that should be going on anytime now and uh also stay tuned of course wrestling mayhem show indie mayhem show uh you may be interested uh if you're into technology and social media uh katie and i just did uh, uh featured her on the indie mayhem show talking about social media and professional wrestling mm -hmm. and we even talk about a, a little bit of your background that i don't think a lot of people know no i it's scary i'm not just a spoiler alert it doesn't involve Pornhub. surprisingly I'm just just putting that out there so you know it nobody mm -hmm. was thinking that <laughs> <laughs> there's so much disappointment right now I, I just feel like we let in with the wrong stories Sorry, for guys. that statement and i just wanted to clarify and set expectations okay that's all i want to do that's, that's nice. all we're doing mm -hmm. so uh so that's something you can go check out and please go check out sorgatronmedia.com a lot of great shows our friends at thrifty podcast uh, our friends at the bardic mystery tour uh, uh, uh pittsburgh current like i mentioned fishing without bait a lot of great discussions going on there uh, across the network comic book pit uh, I'm sure they're going to have stuff to say about Avengers Endgame I think, although I think they were so I think they were so overwhelmed they had to cancel their, their recording last night but we'll get them in here sooner or later uh, I'm sure there's plenty to say about that the uh, fallout of Endgame so where, where can people find you other than the Indie Mayhem show Katie? Uh, Kate Marie PGH on Instagram K Dutters on the Twitter that kind of places it's like John Carmen where are you at these days? Pornhub well, I mean, that's where you're at right now. But I mean, like, where can people find you? Uh, Carmen Avenue, everywhere. <laughs> C A R M A N, and sometimes C A R M E N if you spell it wrong. You, you can you can Gmail me there. I just remembered I wanted to talk to you about the changes on Lyft because I haven't seen them yet. Oh, we can discuss that. We'll, we'll do that on Gold. Uh, and John Carmen. Uh, no, you're John Carmen. John Chichilla. <laughs> the other John. The other John. Uh, Chilla on the Twitter is John Chilla on Facebook, ChillaTech.net. Fantastic. We'll be back here uh, next week with a guest. I think we, I think is next week, Charlie Deach from Pittsburgh Current will be joining us. We're going to have a back to back week of having our newspaper friends joining us. Uh, there's a lot of news happening with, you know, Apple News and all kinds of stories and journalism. So, you know, we like to get our, our journalism friends in here. So, uh, Charlie Deach will be joining us in a couple weeks. Uh, in the next couple of weeks as well as our friend Mike Pound on Uncle Crappy with uh, Beer Me over at the Post-Gazette. And uh, I think we might have a couple other things in the works as well. So a lot of different phases will be popping up here in the coming weeks. So stay tuned to AwesomeCast. Check out the events page over the AwesomeCast Facebook page. Thank you, everybody, joining us in the chat room. I saw a bunch of guys in here throughout the, the night. Thanks for joining us. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. You've been our awesome audience. Have an awesome week. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.